this is Dave here, and today I'm going to do a review for you of the Line 6 Pocket Pod. It's about 129 bucks, which is a steal in my mind. Um, it's basically a smaller version of the Line 6 uh, Pod 2.0. It's got all the same sounds, and it's uh, got some things that I actually like better about this than the uh, Pod 2.0. And it, it's battery-powered and real small, easy to take with you wherever you want. Just got a few knobs on it, but they make good use of them. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, there's the back panel with all the plugs on it. And it's also got a uh, uh, USB in right there, which can be kind of handy. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to put this up next to the Line 6 Pod 2.0 and let you see them together. But this tiny little guy, I really, really like him. Let's see, how many batteries does he run on? He runs on four AAA batteries. So uh, that's all you need to get going. So now I'll put it up next to the uh, Tone Port 2.0 and get, let you take a look. Okay, so here it is next to the uh, Tone Port 2.0. As you can see, it's a lot smaller. Um, the way you turn this thing on is you plug something into the input key input uh, jack, just like you'd turn on a, a regular effects pedal. Um, and one of the things you'll notice, so it's got this uh, toggle switch, and it makes good use of it. As you see on the uh, Tone Port 2.0, it's got separate knobs for output, drive, bass, middle, treble. Um, channel output, reverb, and effects tweak, and then it's got a rotary knob for all of your effects, flanger, chorus, delay, and then all of your amp models. You do all that over here with this toggle knob and these uh, alt keys. So you press this and hold, press it up and down, and you end up uh, um, you end up changing the amp model. So I change it to Black Panel, Boutique, California Crunch, British Class A. Um, so that's the way you change this, the uh, amp models, and then the way you change the effects is you press it right and left, and there's bypass, delay, flange, uh, chorus. It's got most of these same effects that the, uh, the uh, Tone Port 2.0 has. Um, the knobs across the front are drive, effects uh, mix, delay mix, and channel volume. And that's actually a good choice on the front. I, I wasn't sure about it, but as I started playing with it, it really... Those were good choices. And then if you press the Alt key, you get the bass, the mid, the treble, and the reverb. Um, and then you can tap this for the delay, and it's got a tuner if you hold this down too. Um, now this has a full uh, LCD display on there, so you can actually name your tunes, your uh, patches. It's, you can name it here with the toggle button, or you can actually name them in the computer, which is probably a little easier. Um, but the, the Tone Port 2.0 actually only has this little... Uh, one character display, so I actually really like the display on the little Roar one much better. Um, and you know, as far as saving sounds, you know, I think all the the way they got these knobs set up, it does have a really nice computer interface that you can bring up to edit all the sounds. But and honestly, I'll probably just end up doing it all in the knobs here and saving it. It's just much easier and quicker. Um, so all in all, I'd say the Tone Port um, or the Line Six uh, Pocket Pod is a great buy for 129 bucks, about half the price of the Tone Port 2.0. It's a handy little guy. The only thing it's missing are these MIDI in and outs, but you can do everything with that with the uh, USB port. It also has a, the, the uh, Tone Port 2.0 has a pedal jack, and I do have that pedal, but I really don't use it that much, honestly. So uh, if you're looking for a great little effects pedal uh, with some terrific sounds in it, the, uh, tone, the uh, Line 6 Pocket Pod is a great buy at 129 So go out and get it. So that's it from the Homemade Hit Show video. <laughs>